I need to get some holes drilled and get that radiator mounted. Yep, so all right, I'm going to start the process of working on these radiator mounts. All right, so I forgot to turn the camera on. I got two of the holes drilled on front of the mount on the radiator. Uh, the only reason why I only did two is because the way the grill comes down, the way it's shaped, I really only had access to these lower holes to drill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get those bolts set so I know they're good cut the welds and then make sure I'll be able to put it on and off the way I need I'll drill I'll drill the holes from the back side through this mount and then I'll make my mark be able to bolt it on make my mark and then be able to just do it do a center punch and then drill through the front of the cross member so those four holes will be good I'm gonna weld, I'm gonna weld the bolts onto I'm gonna put the bolts through the back side of the cross member weld it get it so it's good and then i'll be able to just pop that grill shell on and then put the nuts on it and i'll be good to go each time that i need to remove it so i'm gonna get to work on that i just gotta find the nuts that fit on these bolts i'm just gonna use this as the nut just for now just to hold it on here so and get this put through tricky to get your fingers in there not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's serving its purpose. It's doing its job. Let me get this passenger side on. I'll have to run to tractor supply and get some 5 16 nuts. Thought I bought a bunch, but apparently I didn't. If I had, they'd be in my bin and they're not I'll snug this up real quick all right so i'm gonna get my zip wheel and see if what i can get in here to cut these with i don't know i don't know if that i can get anything in there but i'm gonna try to figure something out through a new blade in it let's see if that helps i know the weld's pretty hard so we'll see if i can cut through the top weld i might be able to just Break off the bottom weld if I can't get it. Kind of see what I'm trying to attempt is to just score this just a touch, just enough. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to get this or not. Maybe welding it there wasn't the best idea. I mean, I maybe could have welded it on the top of the cross member, right where it meets it. But... Yeah, I suppose I could have got to the weld there to cut it. All right, so I just about got this done. Or the welds, the rest of the weld snap. Still got the lower weld on the... There it goes. That was on the passenger side front, the lower weld. So I think at this point now... have radiator mark I'll be able to drill my top holes and then get those marked and drilled out once that's done I'll almost be able to send this radiator out and get it get it record that'll be nice all right so get my holes drilled here to get my holes drilled on my brackets marked and drilled and then I'll be able to transfer the mark onto the front cross member. I got it just set over here at the moment now on this old seat that I got with the coopster. All right, so I can get those holes drilled and like I said, transfer them over to the cross member.
all right so you can see i got just temporarily these rib nuts tightened up on the lower bolt hole on the, on the front cross member for the mount i'm gonna just I'm gonna run the scribe around the holes so i can more or less try to figure out the center of the hole and pull it off and get those holes drilled in the back it'll be cleaner in the long run you can see here the mark that i mark that i made I'm just gonna estimate the center of that like i said i wanted it low enough so i knew it was going to be down in the meat of the cross member and have enough room so the top edge of my bolt would clear the top of the cross member all right so i'm going to get these holes drilled and then get the radiator back on mounted and see how it how it works These are probably going to go in when I try to mount the radiator, but I'll pop them back through. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the only one who sees what they say it takes to be a man of what a man can be. It's all a lie, it's all a fraud. They only feed you in with their being fed. Sometimes I still feel. It's all, it's all I don't know why we can get it one time and then not the next. Take it away from me. Cause someday I'll leave this place you live in. Okay, take you over to the front of the radiator now. So you'll see I just have these, again, these just these rib nuts in here, the inserts temporarily just to hold the radiator in place so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you what i came up with for the template for my lower radiator mount so just cut down like a two inch piece of paper stock and then i bent it up so it's gonna sit just like that and fortunately for me i have the whole in the bottom of the radiator mount that's already there and then on top on the actual frame rail itself i have a hole here too so i don't need to drill any holes besides drilling a hole in the plate that i'm going to build and i think what i'll do is uh probably add probably add a small gusset here on the front in between this just to stiffen up that 90 degree angle so i'm going to get two of these measured and cut out of my flat stock the flat stock i have i thought i had a wider piece of flat stock so that's about two inches the only flat stock i have is an inch and a half so you can see it's about a half inch narrower than what my paper stock is but at the end of the day it's kind of just a backup radiator mount uh just for some extra support so i think this will be fine it's i think it's quarter inch thick so it's pretty heavy so i think with it not not being the two inch width i think it'll still be fine get these cleaned up real quick and then uh get it ready to go it makes me lose my mind but i don't get it why everybody's moving 
moving so fast And I'm not even blinking with a knife But I don't want you, bitch, I don't need no gun and I'd rather bleed truth and feel misunderstood Sometimes I still feel it's all so dull So why don't you take it off? Alright, so I'm gonna just lay out my template real quick. Someday I'll leave this place in the city. bottoms so the passenger side the top is at an angle this way like I said I measured it on the long end of the angle to make sure that it was long enough so what I need to do now is make my measurements where my bends need to be this is the passenger side right. oh, wrong side no, I'm sorry, yeah, this is the passenger side. This side's on the wrong side. Just want to make sure I bend them the right way. All right, so this is passenger side, so it needs to be bent that way, and this needs to be bent this way, up. Up, down. And then this is the driver's side, so this is down, up. So I was gonna just make a mark, just a slight, a slice with my cutoff, bend it where I need it to be, and then I'll weld it. It just takes up less material when you do it that way. Otherwise, when you heat it and bend it, you end up getting a real sweep, and sometimes it just doesn't line up exactly how you want it, so. I said I'm going to just make some quick cuts go portion of the way through like a lot of people do and then bend it where I need to and then cut it so, so why don't you take it take it to make a measurement on the other side of this one All right, throw these in the vise real quick. Get them bent. I'm gonna do them at the same time so I can get the angle the same.
all right so you can see those got those bent and welded now i'm going to do the same on the bottom half make sure they're even project for the afternoon so you can see this is going to be the passenger side and this will be the driver's side and these will hang down off the front frame rail of the car you know I was thinking I was gonna bolt them to the frame rail but I guess I really don't need to they're never really gonna come off of here maybe I'll just Maybe I'll just weld them onto the frame rail. So that's it right there. That's what they're going to look like. One on that side. And this one on this side. I, think I might mount them on the underneath. Yeah, I think they fit a little better on the underside of the frame. And I think that looks a little cleaner. So I think I'll go that route. Much cleaner on the underside of the frame. Cool. All right, and like I said, what I think I'm going to do is I'll probably add a gusset on this side here. And then I'll add a small gusset down here on the inside angle. And then I'm going to actually probably trim, trim this back just a touch. It just doesn't really need to be quite as long as it is. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get... Bottom of the frame cleaned up with a little. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? I'm in the garage. I think it's Wednesday. We did a snowstorm yesterday and kind of wrapped up the jobs I was working on, on Monday. And uh, trying to spend some time in the garage. I've been cleaning for a little while, even though it probably doesn't look like it. But I was getting back to work on the radiator mounts i'm making the lower radiator mounts this is the one for the driver's side uh, i ended up cutting it and modifying to get this angle here because that's where the frame horn cut frame horn comes down and kind of sweeps down to the front of the car oh this shop's a mess all right just want to wrap up this video realized as i was editing it it really didn't end the video so gonna kind of I ended up having some issues, like I had said earlier, uh, my my SD card, it just said SD card error or something like that, and then I didn't realize it, but the camera had stopped filming while I was working over here doing these brackets. So the brackets, you can see them here. Uh, they're welded to the underside of the frame because I thought it was just cleaner than welding it through the top. You would have saw the bracket and then dropping down. Uh, it just kind of hides it a little better. I added this gusset here, or whatever you call it. I think there's another name for it. I call it a gusset, but I'm probably wrong. Um, I ended up bringing it down and actually ended up kind of like sweeping it right at the edge here, around this edge, around the corner underneath. Drilled a hole. So now, and that, I did the same on both sides. Another gusset here. Uh, I'll clean, this, clean these up when it comes time to to get everything said and done, painted and all that other jazz. Um, I'm gonna notch or I'm gonna remove a little bit of material here underneath so it kind of flows with the bottom of the cross member. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I ended up doing it on the same side. So now when I go to mount the cross, the now when I go to mount the radiator, all I really have to do is set the radiator on these lower tabs and then just slide it in. And it slides right in on the posts. So it, it worked out really good. Uh, the, the grill shell is only attached here by these two holes, these two bolts. So it's a little, still a little loose. I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to weld. Uh, I'm going to mount it to the radiator down low. Uh, I don't really know at this point how that's supposed to mount. There's probably something down here where it mounts. Uh, but I haven't figured that out yet because 
if you look closely it's actually hitting the radiator damaging the fins and I can't have that so I assume this grill shell will probably come out just a little bit so it clears the radiator itself uh, but again I'll address that when the time comes yeah just picking away so hope you guys are enjoying it thanks everyone for following along appreciate all the new subscribers I know Matt had mentioned about a month ago now I think his Christmas giveaway he had mentioned my channel and there's still people trickling through uh, that are coming over to check out what's going on I certainly don't have the knowledge nor the ability that Matt does but you know everybody's kind of playing at their own level so to speak you know for the most part so I'm doing what I do how I do it uh, not really knowing I've never been taught this stuff I'm self-taught I've never built hot rods in the past and and this is is uh, by far the you know probably one of the coolest cars I built I think so uh, that being said again Matt down at Iron Traps I appreciate you, him uh, sending some of you guys my way and yeah just looking forward to keeping the channel growing so uh, I have the websites up and running as you guys know the t-shirts stickers the posters are up hold on one sec I want to show you guys the new poster it's really cool and the material they printed it on is amazing the staging lane poster that we gave away at Christmas time or New Year's. This is the Flathead Mercury poster. That was a photograph that I took in Trog 2019. I'm probably going to regret opening this. I'm going to need to retape it. I ended up using a different. A same print company but it, they they sent out the photo for a third party print to a third party printer this is the photograph of the poster hello so I think you guys can see it the image came out great it's a high resolution image it has this old hot rod on YouTube logo on the bottom left hand corner and like I had said this is a flathead mercury really really thick are you YouTubing? yeah I'm YouTubing we're supposed to be gone we're supposed to be gone I've been trying to do this all morning all morning I grabbed this guess what guys he's been in the garage all morning so it wasn't because I kept taking care of my people doing chores in Take house Taking care of my well, people. I've been cleaning the house and mopping the floor. <laughs> Michael. What? All right, so that's the Flathead Mercury poster that is up on the website. And I have two different sizes. This is the large size. It's 21 by 36. The smaller size, I believe, is 14 by 24. This is selling for $50. No, open it. Plus shipping. And... Uh, the smaller posters, I think, are 35 I could believe. That's on the price. So, thanks, everybody, for the support. Thank get you. Out, get on the website and check out. I thought you all the stuff. heavy lifting. Check See? It. Oh, oh so yeah, hard. yeah. Oh, hard. poor thing, poor thing. By myself. Check out the website, you guys. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.